Scarcity of fossil fuels, rising oil prices, climate change and global warming are some of the direct and indirect consequences of our dependence on conventional sources of energy. India too is facing these challenges and as a result, the government is focusing on utilizing renewable sources for power as a part of sustainable India. Agro residues can be used as an alternative energy sources for developing countries such as India where farming is prevalent. The past decade has highlighted the advantage of commercial level utilization of biomass fuel which currently accounts for 32% of the total primary energy used by the country. The power generated by biomass is estimated to be over 18,000 megawatt with a potential to meet more than 50,000 megawatt of power demand in a few years. Biomass utilization will not only help India achieve net zero emission targets, but also our sustainability goals that the government has proposed. In this video, we will understand another business opportunity related to the renewable energy sector that is the raw agro residue business of manufacturing biomass briquettes. Hello and welcome to Enterclimate. My name is Shalin Verma. Let's start this video. While the production of biofuels such as biodiesel, bioethanol or even bio CNG are capital intensive, starting a biomass briquettes and pellets manufacturing is relatively easy. Bricketing is a compaction technology that involves applying pressure to agro residues with or without a binder to create compact briquettes with high bulk density, low moisture content, uniform size and shape and a good burning properties. Agro residues are a good choice among various types of biomasses due to their widespread availability as a low cost energy source. Now let's understand the advantages of starting up biomass bricketing business. Biomass bricketing business are becoming increasingly popular in India due to the easy availability of the raw materials. The Indian government's efforts to promote biomass briquettes for co-firing in thermal power plants have significantly boosted this industry. This industry can also overcome its logistical and supply challenges by implementing digitization, production incentives and effective inventory. The global biomass pellet market has been valued at around 9.05 billion US dollars in 2021. It is also projected to grow at a CAGR of 6.75% from 2021 to 2030, reaching at a market value of around 16.29 billion dollars. The market growth is primarily driven by increasing consumer awareness of benefits by using biofuels and other renewable energy sources. The growing understanding of using renewable energy contributes significantly to the expansion of the biomass briquettes manufacturing market. So let's understand the stages involved in this process. The first step is raw material collection and its preparation that involves sourcing and then drying the raw material, reducing their size and mixing them with binders in the correct proportion. Now this stage includes several steps such as drying. The raw material with higher moisture content through open air dryer, solar drying, heaters or hot air is performed. Next is size reduction. The raw materials are initially reduced in size through process like shredding, chopping, crushing, breaking, grinding or cutting until they reach a suitable small and uniform size. The next is raw material mixing. Combining multiple raw materials to create briquettes is advantageous and this mixing is done in appropriate proportions to ensure good compaction and high calorific value in the final product. At the next stage, the compaction is performed. Compaction process occurs inside the briquette machine and depends on the chosen briquetting technology. Finally, the last stage is cooling and storage. Now coming to the main section of today's video that is how you can start a biomass briquette manufacturing business. So to establish this business, the following essential requirements must be met. First is land. A minimum land area of 1 acre is necessary to accommodate the storage of raw materials for briquetting and the final product. Next is raw materials. Ensuring a consistent supply of raw materials is crucial factor for profitability of briquette production. Also, drying facility for raw materials. Since commonly available raw materials tend to have higher moisture content, a drying facility is required. Next is shredding machine. A shredding machine with a motor capacity of at least 5 HP is required to pulverize agro residues into powdered form, preparing them for briquetting. 
नेक्स्ट इज ब्रिकेटिंग मशीन अ हाई प्रेशर हाइड्रोलिक पिस्टन प्रेस टाइप ब्रिकेटिंग मशीन पावर्ड बाई अ मोटर विद अ मिनिमम कैपेसिटी ऑफ फिफ्टी एच पी इज नेसेसरी फॉर प्रोड्यूसिंग बाइंडरलेस ब्रिकेट फ्रॉम एग्रो रेसिड्यूज नाउ एज वी कैन सी द प्रेजेंट इंडियन मार्केट प्रोमिस ऑपरचुनिटीज इन द रिन्यूएबल एनर्जी सेक्टर The utilization of agricultural residues as an energy source for producing briquettes offers several advantages some of which includes the enhancement of the energy density ease of transportation and storage and the ability to address the issue of residue disposal effectively however having the knowledge of renewable energy market so that you can rely on accurate data is crucial for the success of your business similarly you will also require the assistance of experts in understanding the industry and required licenses and permits to start this business at enter climate we can assist you with the legalities and compliances so this was all for today's video thank you for watching